Chicago, East Side, West Side, South Side, holla at me, East. What I say? What I miss? One of the sides I miss. Chicago, holla North at side. me, man. North Side, <laughs> holla at me. That's where I'm at now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you made it in shit? Yeah, man. Episode 188. Hell yeah. Oh, Back man. here with my best friends in the world, Nady Jizak, Big Ted. What's going on? Where's it at? There's Big Ted. <laughs> Hearing my homegirl Bailey Spunky, what up? From the north. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> I like that one so much. <laughs> so good, yo. Right. Yeah, man. How was y'all weeks, y'all? Chill, man. Yeah, closing out the closing out the month, right? Yeah. How yeah. many more days do we have a Black History Month? Yeah, Happy Black History Month. What four? Three or four? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Happy Black History Month. Going strong, of course, you know. Absolutely. Still learning facts every day. Period. <laughs> <laughs> now it's our turn, Perry. What'd you learn this what week? What I learned this week? In Black History. I was like, if y'all ain't seen it, I was watching that, uh, that, uh, that Legend documentary on Netflix called Legend about Bill Russell. True. One of the, the most winningest player to ever play in NBA. Rest in peace, Bill Russell. This nigga died this year, man. Looking oh, yeah. down on us. For real. That's why all the players got sixes on their jerseys this year. Oh, okay, All true. the courts got sixes on them and shit. Bill Russell passed away. But, uh, yeah, Bill Russell was that nigga, for real. It put a lot of things in perspective for me watching that documentary. For the people who don't know, tell them so, um, what team he played for. Bill Russell won 12, I believe. 12 Something championships. Like that, yeah. With the Celtics, six. Okay. I think he won like four, like four or five of them as a player coach, coaching the team. Wow. He was one. He was one of the first. He was one of the first black uh, coaches in professional sports. Sick. Something to know. Hell yeah, yeah. His shit was that nigga Bill Russell went through a lot of shit for real. Cause like, you know how like now like players be like it's player activists. You know what I'm saying? LeBron be doing shit. Chris Paul and shit. Colin Kaepernick and shit. But like. The nigga Bill Russell was really living it. We talk about Jim, Jim Crow, Crow era. Laws, yeah, for so sure. Fucked. So far. You know what I'm saying? Like different the, entrances, different wa- uh, water fountains. <laughs> That's yeah, yo. Crazy. Yeah. yeah, yo. They was uh, they was talking about how his uh, they was talking about how his granddaddy was a slave and they moved back. I'm like, damn, like the nigga died last year. He talking about his daddy was a slave when he was born. What? <laughs> yeah. People don't be putting that shit in perspective. Like, it's niggas out, out right now. It's people on earth right now that, like, met slaves in their life. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's insane. Yeah, we talked about this, uh, what, maybe last weekend. Yeah, my, my grandpa, R.A.P., his parents were free slaves. I hope I'm saying that right. What does that mean? What that mean? They was just like living on the property still. Yes, like and damn near still yeah. slavery, but like, oh, you have more freedoms <coughs> or whatever. That's you can go Isn't to the store, and be back by dark, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> I just try to use my calm, like uh, educational voice. <laughs> Here you come, boondocks. <laughs> be back before dark, nigga. <laughs> nigga. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, that shit crazy for real. Cause it's really like that. Like, is niggas people we know that new stage? You know what I'm saying? That's out right now. Old people and shit. They was they was doing them bogus as hell. Like he got drafted. They were saying that they wouldn't even let the Celtics play. <coughs> Not the Celtics play. They wouldn't let the Celtics stay at hotels and shit. Haters. They was talking about. They was talking about when uh. Like, all sorts of, like, when riots and shit was happening, when all the protests and shit was happening back in the 60s and shit, mm. they were saying that, like, he, they was playing some team, and, like, it was only, like, three niggas playing, in the, in, like, on the teams, between the two teams. And they was like, no, nah, we ain't trying to play. And they was like, fuck, we got to go out here and play. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't like now when you could just be like, I ain't playing. Shit crazy, for real. Yeah, that shit put a lot of shit in perspective for me, especially with them sports, man, because, like, I even watched the Jackie Jackie Robinson movie. You seen that shit? Nah, I have not. With uh, that shit is extra fun too. My nigga Chadwick in it. R.I.P. Chadwick. Wow, he's in it. Yeah, yo, it was the same shit going to when Jackie Robinson was out there and shit for real. It's crazy because you go to L.A. Niggas be wearing Robinson jerseys for real. Oh yeah, for sure. You get even playing in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> but the oh, Dodgers, the Dodgers, yeah, the Dodgers yeah, yeah. yeah, it was Brooklyn. Yeah, the Brooklyn Dodgers for real. Whole other coast. 
What about you, Bailey? You just came from the Black Fashion Show. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Uh, my job had a, a Black History Month fashion show, and I got to um, be like a VIP host, but essentially just an usher and just making sure people go to their seats. But it was nice to know that companies care enough to do something like extracurricular like that to celebrate their black employees. So that's very fucking cool. man. Yeah, yeah. it was amazing. They were definitely supporting a lot of like South side, um, artists <coughs> that do a lot of outreach in their communities. And mm -hmm. it's just nice to know like other artists in the city and that you might not run into cause we yeah. live on different it's a great platform. sides of the time. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was super fun, though. I feel that. That's what I be trying to do. Like, give back. Give other niggas an opportunity. You know what I'm mm, saying? Absolutely. Try to use my platform as much as I can to, like... Yeah, put people on, man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's all about giving back, for yeah. real. Yeah. Like, it make me, it make me feel good. I want to do a bunch of charity events this summer. Yeah. I said I want to. Oh, yeah. This yeah, summer coming up, I want to do a bunch of charity events and shit. You know yeah, what we, should, we should definitely do something that's face value. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. Gary was doing those uh, coat drives. Yeah. Yeah, the they coat drives. <laughs> Yeah, we got to get the coat drive back. I, I got 20 coats over there. That, uh, yeah, I got so I'll give away yeah. right now. No, oh, yeah, it got canceled last year. COVID fucked us oh, up. Oh, yeah. yeah. COVID fucked it up. I was going to say, something happened that stopped it. Mm -hmm. What you uh, What you learned, Nate? Here it goes. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing, man. I should have yeah. I did my research. Oh, I it's no, Pro knowing, Professor Perry over here. Knowing that you'd ask. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. Known. Here it goes. <laughs> Pop quiz. It's <laughs> all good. It's all good. <laughs> oh we might God. as well get to the All-Star game right now. Because <laughs> I've been excited to talk about it. I can't wait for real. Talk about it, man. Fucking All-Star game was trash, boy. <laughs> yeah, we were just That's not what I thought you were going to say. All-Star weekend in general. Because it's like, I don't know, man. They... they it's not as fun as it used to be, yo. Like, I remember, I feel like it ended, I feel like the excitement of the All-Star game ended when they stopped wearing their real jerseys. You remember oh, back yeah. in the day? Like, one team yeah. would just wear they colored, all the colored away jerseys, and the other team where we're yeah. all the white. So tight. <laughs> yeah. When they start making All-Star game jerseys, that's when it was trash real. I, like, briefly thought about getting a Luca one, but nah. Nah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you used to, like, Bailey, back in the day, like, in the 90s and shit, the, in the All-Star game, like, one, the East of the, first off, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this pickup game shit. They doing too much. But the East would, either the East would wear they away uniform, so it would be, like, all different colors. Everybody get on their uniform. And uh, the other side would just wear their white uniforms. So it was still white. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it was about mad people, mad different uniforms. What were they even wearing? Uh, what were they even wearing this game? We were helping some you ombre. move, so like no one was even watching that game. Yeah, some bullshit tie-dye looking jersey. Yo. <laughs> Strange. That shit was ugly. It's giving boy. junior high. No, <laughs> yeah. Thank God for that dunk contest, yo. The dunk contest was crazy. Yeah. What was, was that one? What was that oh one? Oh my God. Because guess what? A white men can jump. <laughs> they can oh jump. God, I've seen yo. it. No, because the dunk contest, contest has been trash, too. It's been going down and down. Like, I wasn't even going to watch it this year, for real. Oh, because yeah. nobody wants to do it and shit. You know? Yeah, it's bullshit, for like, real. Superstars don't want to do it. And even if the They're super... Too good for and, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one, if the superstars don't want to do it, and two, like, it just wasn't good. Like, I'd be cool if it was no-name niggas doing some hard shit. Yeah. Like, they were doing wasn't. some standard-ass dunks yeah. that you'll see during a fucking game. Like, <laughs> been, you didn't like blow anybody years. away with that live from the couch, but, you know. I feel like, I feel like it ain't been a good dunk contest since, I'm going to say, Zach Levine when he won. That was hard. Oh, yeah. When Zach Levine threw it off the back of the backboard, came underneath with it through the legs. That was nice, yeah. for real. What was that white guy's name? Mac McClung. Yeah, he was getting busy. He <laughs> was getting, bruh. These <laughs> niggas were running, like, literally, like, jaw drop, like, with their yeah. phones to, like, get close to him after they saw it. They are like, I ain't never seen a white boy jump No like one that. expected that, for yeah. real. Yeah, yeah, I didn't expect that either. He's, how tall did you say he was? He only 6'2". How tall are you, Yeah, yeah. 
We were trying to think of the tallest people that we knew and use that as like a reference. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling them, like, like everybody else in the dunk contest, like six, eight, six, nine, six, ten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The nigga was six, two, going crazy for real. Yeah, he was, he he was get up there. Right. And he was doing some crazy stuff. You only have seconds before you yeah. get back on the ground. He was switching. <laughs> That's the thing. Directions and shit. That's the thing. Because really, at the that one I was talking about with Zach Levine, like, Ain't nobody did nothing I ain't never seen before. Usually every year I would see something I never saw before. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember when Kobe put it through the legs. That was crazy. Yeah. I never seen that before. I remember when um when Vince Carter we used to do the dunk contest and shit, and the nigga stick his whole arm in yeah. the rim. Even though niggas was doing that, that shit was that shit was alright for real. The other nigga from the Knicks did that. Oh, I feel yeah, like the right. whole the whole thing was like a Vince Carter like like tribute. Oh yeah, yeah, it really was for real. Where was Vince Carter? Shit, Vince, he was probably there for real. <laughs> Vince Carter, yeah, because Vince Carter is the one he stuck his arm in the uh, in the thing, and I think the nigga from the Knicks did. He stuck both his arms in. <laughs> That's crazy. Which was crazy, but when they slow molded and brought it down, what's his name? Jericho Sims, I believe his name. He kind of pulled his pulled the net up and got his arm in there. So he put one in, and he was like. Oh, put the other because I was like, if he put two two arms in the elbow length, I ain't never seen that before. Man, that sounds painful. It does. I literally like. I'm even trying to think of how elbows move and stuff. Like none of that sounds. What? <laughs> but yeah, then the what the bro the white boy came on. I'm like, who? He looked familiar because I knew I seen him before. He played for the Bulls for a minute. Really? Yeah, he played for the Bulls for a minute. And apparently he went to the G League and he just got out the G League like last like last month or some shit. Oh yeah. Damn. What was the first dunk that he did? The first dunk McClung did. I don't really remember. I just I remember just seeing clips. Oh, the nigga threw it. The nigga caught the oop, right? And then touched the ball to the backboard and then inverted the nigga inverted his body. To the side, <laughs> you know, like, 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 like freaky Zeke, the nigga turned mm. turned his body to the side and put it in. I was like, oh man, yeah, changing directions and shit. I was jumping out my seat. <laughs> core, core strength for real. That's yeah, crazy. that nigga had that nigga had total control of his body. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, did you see? Uh, I saw some of the clips. I I didn't see it well enough to like identify. A Jimmy, the part. nigga did a seven twenty. <laughs> I've never seen a nigga do a seven twenty before. I was looking. I'm like, how many times? I thought it was a five forty. Evan was like, but he finished the spin and before he hit the ground. I was like, damn, it was a seven twenty. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Yo, he saved, he saved the All-Star game in fucking Utah. I don't know why they put in that shit anyway. Cold yeah. as hell. Yeah, yeah, who even <laughs> won the All-Star game, bro? I promise you. I don't know. That's another thing. Yeah. They do this whole, they do now they do this whole pickup game thing, and what, I don't like it, man. What's that? Explain. So, like, so like LeBron and Giannis was the captains, right? Oh, Which yeah. Which I don't know why LeBron and Giannis is the captains when... They wasn't the best players last year. <laughs> right. Who <laughs> made the you? Biggest, the biggest celebrity. Yeah. So yeah. LeBron and Giannis is the captains. And then they pick from, like, they, they vote. People voted for the NBA, the all-star starters, right? So then it's just a pool of all the niggas that's supposed to start. And you, like, pick your team or whatever. And then it, the setup is weird. It's like every quarter is a new is a new game. They start at zero, and whoever wins each quarter money go to a charity or something like that. Oh, I guess that makes that's sense. cool. I like. Why would they just just like make shit simple, just bro? Play, play the game. basketball play the, game. the regular way that we've all been watching exactly. it for years. Play the game of basketball. Literally, that and whoever niggas, wins niggas play thirty two. Niggas just traveling. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. Niggas just traveling all Were there no the floor. referees? They're just like a, it's like free ball. It looked like free ball. <laughs> That's what awesome. it looked like. Big ball. <laughs> <laughs> Big it looked ball. like it looked like a pickup game at at export. Is what it looked <laughs> oh like. my gosh. <laughs> That's what it looked like for well, real. While we're on the topic of basketball, do you think that 
at any point people will stop trying to uh, invent nuanced reasons for how LeBron isn't the GOAT somehow. I mean, look, look. <laughs> oh, boy. I was going to say something, but I'm like, let me just leave Jimmy alone. Not I'm just kidding. You know, I love trampling I love over LeBron. these dudes. I love LeBron. <laughs> just like the next man love LeBron, but like, <laughs> if, if he... If he he got to win one more for real, cause I, I in my ranking I got to go Jordan, Kobe, Dan, LeBron for real. Uh yeah, agree. I go Jordan, cause it's still it's still you got to win. Jordan ain't never went to the finals and lost, yeah. never, ever, never. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I feel you, man. I mean, and I know it's a different game. It's a different game now. And, yeah, the nigga got the scoring record, so it, it do. I mean, but statistically speaking, he has just about every record. No? But but these statistics don't matter. The win matter. I don't know. Is I, I would disagree with that. No, I don't disagree. I, bro. I agree. It, no. I agree that winning obviously outweighs. But, winning isn't everything. But I, Perry. Think, I think that championships <laughs> are a team accolade and not a player accolade. Personally, mm. right? But nah, because because you know why I could say that, and this actually is to LeBron's favor as to why I could say this, right? So check this out. What was it? Two thousand eight. Whenever, whenever in the past, LeBron was on the Cleveland Cavaliers. They went to the finals and lost. Remember, and then he left and went to Miami, and Cleveland was no longer a contending team. Miami, a team that was not a contending team, gets LeBron and is a contending team. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He leaves Miami, goes back to Cleveland. Miami is no longer a contending team. <laughs> Cleveland is a contending team. <laughs> Look, it's not over. He, the Lakers, on the other hand, not a contending team. LeBron leaves, goes to the Lakers. Cleveland is no longer a contending team. <laughs> And now the Lakers are a contending team. You know what I'm saying? Are they? They was when they won in that bubble when he oh, went there. Yeah. They, probably, <laughs> they probably will be now without Russell Westbrook. Yeah. <laughs> they were saying, I was watching this thing. They were saying that uh, that uh, <laughs> even though the Lakers are, like, not in the playoff, right? They, like, it ain't in the same place the Bulls at right now. We just trying to get in type shit. But they were like, even if the Lakers aren't, in like they get a low seed, don't nobody still want to play the Lakers in the first round? I don't. I wouldn't. Not with that monster LeBron on that team. <laughs> that monster. Because LeBron been sitting down all year. You know what I'm saying? They yeah. all they got to do is get in, and then like LeBron yeah, might bro, be able to take. Bro is them. like <laughs> like six nine, like two hundred and sixty pounds or some shit. Like yeah, yo, that's. It's, Fucking insane. It's like, what do that, you do with that? Nigga running I, know, fast I would not want to be that fucking big. That, that like, big ass, about, that big ass, ass shoulder. Like... <laughs> running full speed. <laughs> dribbling. I ain't taking no charge. He might knock you out. I was like a bus hitting you. Hey, <laughs> Giannis, bro. Giannis be charging. Yeah, like Giannis be driving that lane. I'd be like, damn, bro. That dude moving fast as hell. Giannis damn near playing football for real. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> no, I'm fucking dead. But back on the All-Star game, I still got what to say about the All-Star game and shit like I wish it was a way the NBA could do something to like make it kind of interesting you feel me cause like all of the all-star games are sucking out except baseball baseball the only one I got it damn I haven't watched a baseball all-star game in fucking but the ever. thing is you know in baseball whichever league win the all-star game that's get who that who get home court field advantage in the oh. world series oh yeah so true. it means some niggas at least playing a little bit yeah you know what I'm saying and also in baseball, it's still a real game of baseball. Like, what we watch in the NBA is not a real game of basketball. You know what I'm saying? Different rules and shit. Oh, yeah. And then in the Pro Bowl this year, it was flag football. Was Niggas it really? didn't even have pads on. What? It was flag football? <laughs> it was flag football. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably to avoid injury? Yeah. That's kind of... Like, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these highlights. Look at these highlights. Of the Pro Bowl. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Niggas ain't even got no pads on. <laughs> Niggas just in shorts and t-shirts. <laughs> uh, you don't want to sit there for two hours and watch niggas run around pulling flags off they belt, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I said, it's not even a real game. At least baseball is a real game yeah, of baseball. True. You know what I'm saying? 
They had the nerve to put Julius Randle in the three point contest. Why? Who's that? He on the Knicks, man. Uh-oh. He don't know how to shoot. <laughs> Why is he in the three point contest? Damian Lillard won that shit though. Oh word. But yeah, like you were saying, the stars need to be in that shit. Fucking Clay needs to be in that bitch for real. Oh, Steph yeah. needs to be in that bitch. I don't know why they don't do it. I don't mean, I guess it ain't worth it for real. Probably. The NBA got to make it incentivize, incentivize and shit. Because John Morant should be in the dunk contest, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Edwards and shit. But, uh, yeah. But, I mean, like, even though, like, I'm looking back, a lot of the dunk contests, even in the even when we was kids, it was it wasn't no stars. It was nobody's for real. It was just Jordan and Kobe, Vince Carter. Mm-hmm. But like, nigga, fucking J.R. Smith was in the dunk contest. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like Zach Levine before I knew who Zach Levine is. That's how I even know who he is for real. Nate Robinson and shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit, man, did y'all listen to any music this week? I've been still banging that Kalayla. Oh yeah, I need that Kalayla nice for real. Now I ain't listening to no new music, but I just been riding the old ones. I've been on the R and B bench. Yeah, I've been trying to. Just I like listen, oh, go, go, ahead. go ahead. No, you go ahead. I listen to old Gucci. I mean, I know we came into Flocka. <laughs> That's always uh, a nice. I re- I love real trap shit. <laughs> on real all puns shit. intended. Yeah. <laughs> it's an amazing. Uh, I I don't know. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. And then like. Uh, pop. What was it? Pop punk. What did you call it? Evan? Pop punk. Yeah. Happy. We are going back to our old shit. We were listening, and I call them Chiodos. I hate how you pronounce it. Or, Chiodos. That's what uh, they is. Craig well, is a piece of shit. some people. <laughs> might, yeah, we talked about. Be. Yeah, we talked about that. As well, me and Evan did. That damn I mean, band, maybe, though. maybe he's changed. Since Wait, what did he do? I don't even know what he did. What did he do? Oh, I don't know what he did like to. Oh yeah, he just, just yeah. every time that I've interacted with him, he's been a shitty individual. Yo, I play I play one show with him, and oh. I got kicked out the show before the show even started. Why? Nah, it was it was bogus as hell, man. We played this show. It was a bunch of it was a bunch of niggas on the show. A bunch of like bands came through. They called it a festivist. That's what it was called. Festivus for the rest yeah, of Yeah, yo. Shout out Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Owens, he was, uh, meow, 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 he was meow. touring his solo shit. He was touring his solo shit. He was on the show. But my nigga Kyle was pitting too hard as always. I was holding the nigga bag because I was playing and I had his bag behind on the stage. I was trying to give him his bag, right? Nigga, security guard come up behind me. Start choking me. <laughs> <laughs> I get like, out, so I start, you? so I start a scene. I start yelling, "Get your fucking hands off me!" <laughs> <laughs> I start turning it up. I was like, "I'm in a band. I got my pass." And they was like, "Nope, <laughs> still kick your ass out of here, boy." I was like, I'm just trying to give the nigga his bag for he leave for real, like bogus as hell. I need an opportunity to say, "Get your hands off of me!" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dead <Get> ass off <laughs> me. <laughs> get your filthy hands off me. <laughs> <laughs> you Dude, imbecile. That was my bad though, yo. <laughs> I fuck with Gio though. That changed my life. Gio changed my life. Yeah, we were definitely on nostalgic, nostalgic <laughs> moment talking about word tour and shows when we were younger and stuff. I don't know. That's what I've been like. It's great to revisit that kind of yeah, music. man. I used to run Warp Tour, boy. I used to be in that bitch <laughs> ripping and running, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Same God. here. Yeah, Barry I is a wait. straight up old ass man, bro. <laughs> ripping nah, and running. I'm talking about when I was 20 years, 19. But that's 20 what my years, grandma though. says. Like, oh, what are you doing this weekend? Ripping and running the streets. Like, <laughs> what? I used to be. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I was inside of an establishment. Like, <laughs> just out. Out on the street, <laughs> walking around, <laughs> running around. I used to be in that bitch. I used to be in that bitch, functioning, boy. <laughs> end of the day, end of the bed, I got my shirt off, backpack, <laughs> water bottle, water bottle, yeah, backpack. That's what. That's when everybody didn't really know how to festival. See, now it's a thing. You don't know say. They didn't know how to a festival. festival. <laughs> back then, back yeah. then it wasn't a lot of fe- festivals. You know what I'm saying? Kids yeah. didn't really know. I would come. I'd be in that bitch early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Water bottle, big ass water bottle. You know what I'm saying? They you know they throw your top away. 
Really? Like that. You know how they, yeah, when you go, go in there, they be throwing your top away, so you just fill up your water bottle and drink it. You can't just have it. Yeah. Which is booty, for real. Like, they want <laughs> niggas to die in there. Why would you not let niggas transport? No, because you know why? Because niggas be drinking. You yeah, let I, them put a top on I was on just it. about to say that's Kids exactly drinking why. Yeah, a thousand percent. Oh, yeah, I'm, de- I'm definitely mixing vodka and Powerade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dead ass. The blue one. <laughs> Bro, yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, so by the time, like, pitchfork and shit start going on and shit, like, I already knew how to move. Like, I already had a little thing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I knew how to sneak my shit in. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, bro, the smartest thing we ever did, bro, back in the day, life hack for the uh, Gen Zs, yo. Back in the day, we would go, go in uh, Union Park like a week before. Bury the bottle. That's some fucking bullshit. <laughs> I'm calling that big motherfucking cap because I was it. hearing about people doing that too. Boy, I'm not finna dig no motherfucking grave for my fucking no grave. bottle. Not and then no try grave. to remember, is it that mound by that mean. piece Put it by a of tree. rock? Put it by a tree, you know what I'm saying? Just a little pint, you know what I'm saying? Nothing, nothing too much. You ain't got to dig a, a six foot hole. Yeah, you just gotta have, <laughs> you just gotta have it covered. Yeah, you a little pint, you know what I'm saying? Smooth. I go there, I'm like, my pint still here. Hell yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, yo, we got the pint, Man. but it, it only work on the first day though. <laughs> I don't know. I remember last time. The last time I went to Pitchfork was a. Uh, I want to say it was 2019, 2020 or 2019. No, I went on 2020, 2019. Uh, niggas, I walked in there, niggas took my weed. Yeah. They dug it out? No, I had it on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. See? 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 I had, I had like four, five joints in a cigarette pack. Oh, shit. Walked in, and dude was like, Okay, I was like, come on, bro. I'm grown as hell. <laughs> right. What the fuck? Like, yeah. you, you think I don't know I could have put I could have put it in my drawers, bro, but I thought you was cool. <laughs> you said that? Nice. I was just like, oh, like come on, man. I sat there and argued yeah. with him. Come on, man. You can't, bro. Come on. He was like, no, I can't let you in with this. That's crazy. Bitch ass yeah. nigga. Yeah. <laughs> bro, when I was working, I had worked uh Riot Fest a couple of times. I was letting everything fly. <laughs> I was like at the gate. Dead like, come ass. on, bro. Come on, bro. <laughs> if you knew me and you walked in, you walked up, like, oh, just go ahead, G. <laughs> All kinds of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> man. I was the wrong nigga to be working. Like working festival the gate. Festival bring it with me. <laughs> <laughs> festival meth <laughs> is crazy. Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to tweak. <laughs> yeah, when I went to Riot, the last time I went to Riot Fest, this is what's crazy. It's crazy to get in. This is why we're making slow steps. Well, now it's legal, but we're make, we were making the slow steps to Poor legalize it or whatever. And so I snuck it. I successfully made it through with, like, one joint. And I got inside, and I am in a crowd, and I proceeded to smoke my joint. I'm by myself, and a, literally a security guard came from behind, tapped me on the shoulder, and was like, put it out now, or I'll squirt you to the... What? I was like, I'm in the bitch. <laughs> like, bitch nigga. like, why? We're literally outside. Over like, some weed is nuts, yo. Hell yeah. I remember I was at Riot Fest. Snoop was playing. I was with Julian. Yeah. I list the joint. He playing. I'm throwing my shit. Up. I said, Julia, hit this. Julia, put his head down. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Julia. I'm like, nigga, you don't put that shit in the air. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. I mean, no, we were watching we watch Cypress Hill. I was like, nigga, put that shit in the air. We were watching Cypress Hill. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shout out, Julia. Love you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's big love, dog. Oh, my gosh. What else is happening? Oh, um... You guys, Nipsey Hussle is fucking bitch ass killer. Oh yeah, lock that nigga up. Oh, yeah, for real? Yeah, he got like six. It's crazy though. He got sixty years or something like that. And wasn't Nipsey a like a rolling sixties crib? Oh wow, cool. Isn't yeah. that crazy? Yeah. I was like, damn. What, wow. a, what a stupid thing to do. Niggas yeah. egos be so fragile. Yeah, exactly. Nigga called you a, he was mad because Nipsey called him a snitch. <laughs> Oh, is that what it was? Yeah, I thought I always him. assumed that people are trying to rob people and pull nah, a pistol. Nah, Nipsey embarrassed him, and oh. he came back like nigga. Now that look sounds at like a, a hood movie. Yeah, yeah. you oh, know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. Like, now you got fuck. sixty years. Now you, you know what I'm saying. I put the best out of my whole life because a nigga disrespected me. Right. <laughs> All you had to do was say something clever, bro. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. 
yeah. Uh, you learn of... how to flame yeah. a nigga, yeah, man. You can't I know you are, that... but what am I? Yeah. <laughs> Just left it at that, that Infinity. Dog. <laughs> 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 yours is <an> infinity. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, fucking what's it worth, man? Yeah, for real. Yeah, we going through this year, though. Definitely going through this year. It's already it's gonna be March out here. That's crazy. Yeah, I can't wait. It's springtime. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the last time we setting our clocks back too. Oh my gosh, you yeah. were talking about that, bro. <laughs> the daylight, the daylight protection act. <laughs> <laughs> yo, hell yo. And if y'all haven't heard about what that is, like what they're just like getting rid of daylight savings time. I didn't know that that was a thing that they could do. Like, Over with. Wow, no longer we have to set our clocks. Back or forward? Yeah, get that. Like the kids, <laughs> get it, get it out of here, man. The protection act. Yeah, the kids, get the kids won't even know about that fall back spring full. Oh yeah. Oh, my so little crazy. niece, I'm like, she not even gonna know what that shit mean. I say fall back. Are they gonna get rid of Groundhog's Day and all they that? They need to. That shit's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That oh shit's stupid. I ain't never seen the groundhog not see a shadow. Because it's there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> of course you saw it, it's there. If there's no sun, it's supposed to be some stupid like that. I remember me asking my mom about that shit. I'm like, first of all, who is Poxitani? Or however you say the groundhog's name. And I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, what does that mean? And yeah, it's something about the, the yeah, where the sun yeah, is or ain't, something. Ain't that what it is? Ain't that what it is, Nate? I, when they... <laughs> When they, if he see his shadow, winter something gonna, like that. Winter is gonna really be remember. cold outside. He goes back in, it's six more weeks of winter. The nigga always go back in. It's cold, <laughs> it's cold outside. They need to get rid of the all nigga. of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's cold out. Of course, he saw his. I I don't think I ever seen it, and he and he didn't see his shadow. Is it the same groundhog? Yeah, that's his name, ain't it? I don't know. The, I never knew the ground. What's the name? <laughs> Fucking name. Poxitani Phil. Oh, oh word. <laughs> yeah. I thought I was going to call him Pennywise. <laughs> wow. Why? I knew it was something with a P. I was like, oh. it all the while Pennywise came. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy because a whole other thing. It happens at Halloween. <laughs> Oh my god! But yeah, it's over with. It's over no with. No more daylight, daylight savings. Time. Yeah. I didn't know that they couldn't do that. And then Perry was letting me know that they made that shit for farmers originally. Yeah. I thought it was just a thing that we had to observe because of what you know. The stars I guess the day the moon, does in the moon. And like shit. when I the know. day gets shorter, and stuff, I, I thought we had to I, act accordingly. I, I know how y'all women just... be. The moon and the stars. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they made that shit up just like all the other shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Talking spicy. <laughs> podding now. Podding, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo. Yeah. yeah, that shit was stupid anyway. Like, why would the fuck would we want it to be dark? Like, da it's dangerous. More dangerous than the dark time. Why would the fuck <laughs> we want to make it darker longer? I don't know. That don't I, make no sense. When bro. you put it like, like when you even ask, it's like, why? I thought, cause we had to, but yeah, now that I know it's like, yeah. Why? yeah. It's definitely going to make the Midwest a better place. I think. <laughs> I hope be, so. It's not going to be fucking dark at 3 PM. Yeah. Yo. That part. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be telling my little niece, like it used to be dark at four. <laughs> In the summer. She was like, when is that nigga, you lost your mind. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but like, uh, uh, well, I forget, do it spring? Will we lose an hour in the spring or we gain an hour in the spring? I never... That, 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 I never that, really know. That I lost hour, that be fucking me up. <laughs> I feel like I always want to say that along with everyone else, but I'm like, ah, I just, I mean, and no. our phones do it automatically. I was yeah. just like, ah, eh, like, everyone's be, like, make sure you set your clock back. I'm like, it's on I'm going to forget. It be on a Sunday. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's always on a Sunday. A Sunday, why they don't make it on a, on a weekend? I mean, I guess Sunday is weekend. Okay. It is. <laughs> but nah, it's always when I got to go back to work and I didn't lost an hour of sleep. I mean, that bitch fucked up for a whole week till I get adjusted. You feel me? Fair enough. Oh, Harry Slomax. Oh, shit. <laughs> got to take that out. <laughs> Phone still connected. My pops calling me. But uh, yeah, get rid of that shit. That shit's stupid as hell. It's a, like you said, there's a lot of other shit that we could get, we could do without for real. I'm trying to be on my minimalist cake now that I got into the new crib. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Perry. He yeah, finally, it. we in there, baby. We finally in there, man. Perry got his big boy crib, and it's pretty nice. I'm proud of you. <laughs> you deserve. 
Yeah, I've been watching Mad HGTV and shit. <laughs> now I understand. Yeah, now I understand why you want to watch HGTV. Because my mama and them watch that shit all the time. Now I be trying to learn for real. You I know what know I'm what saying? That is. HGTV and TV channel, home improvement TV channel. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like Home and Garden. Yeah, Home and Garden Television. Uh, yeah, they got some shows. Bro. Uh, House Hunters, House Hunters International. That's my shit. <laughs> I you never know? watch any of that house <laughs> thing or whatever the fuck. I'll be watching that shit like a motherfucker. That. I'll be watching all the remodeling shows because, like, I'll be having to get a gauge on, like, how much shit costs. Oh, yeah. You feel me? Do you have some art and shit for the crib? I got mad art. I got to get a frame for you. I decided I'm grown now. I'm, put, I'm getting frames. Ain't nothing going on the wall tonight in no frame yeah. for real. I used to do the thumbtacks in the wall. Yeah, the frame is, is clutch. That's how you know you're an adult, man. And my frame, <laughs> my headboard. You know what I'm saying? Good Tupperware. <laughs> good, oh, good kitchenware. Good kitchenware. You got to get the, the non-stick everything. <laughs> A little cast iron <laughs> Not skillet. For real. The Capilon. <laughs> the Capilon Look, skillets. Obviously, Perry's been looking into some You know, I'll be in Home Goods, man. Shout out Home Goods, too. Home Goods will fuck your check up. You go to Home Goods, bro. <laughs> And everything is so cheap. I mean, it's not cheap, but like it's it's cheaper than it should be for that good product. You know what I'm saying? True. Because like I used to just cop all my like kitchenware and shit at IKEA and shit. And like when you go to Home Goods and you get plates, they feel like plates. You know what I'm saying? They got a little weight on them. You feel me? It's good China, man. Tupperware be glass. You feel me? Yeah. That's what I'm on. <laughs> Y'all see this new AL, uh, ALD shit? No, I, I seen it when y'all was pulling it up. Yeah. Y'all. I already know it's fire yeah. for real. Amy Leon Dore or Dore. Is it Dore? Is that Dore. how you say it? Dore. I'll be saying D. Is it French? Yeah. Well, it's it. a French it, It's a French name, but um, it's from Queens, New York. Oh, okay. See, I don't know shit about shit, boy. <laughs> um, yeah, the, sh- the fuck. If y'all get a chance, go on High Snobiety or High Beast or whatever and look at the collection. It's fucking crazy. It's always so expensive. It's very, very expensive. I feel like, I think I say say this all the time, it's like that's one of those brands that if I could afford it like that, I would wear it exclusively. Woo! Yeah, for sure. I'm really tapping. I'm looking at it right now, bro. Never the zipper that go down to the... (laughs) To the belly button. To the belly button. The quarter zip when the zipper go down. The quarter zip short sleeve. Was that a fleece? I think it is a fleece. Yeah, it's just mad fleece. Um, With the zipper down in your belly. <laughs> mad, mad fleece pieces, tweed. With the cool pockets shit. on the back. It's nuts. They going crazy. Hey, that looks sick. Okay, now that you're <laughs> like, now that I can see the photo, that's that's pretty sick. Yeah, it is really expensive. When me and Evan went to New York, we went to their store, and it was just like extremely expensive. And I was even like, damn, where are the socks? So I could like try to cop <laughs> something. How how did the store look? It was um. It was giving like you know how um, Ralph Lauren will have like it set up like a house kind yeah. of. Oh okay. Yeah, it was definitely giving that. It was it was nice. I've only nice. seen pictures of the storefront. I've never seen the inside. Sounds tight. Yeah, it's got steps though, and I almost bust my ass for sure. <laughs> like walking in that bitch is a step because you're like yeah. stepping into the spot. But they had like a rolling tray thing that was like. Yeah, the, <laughs> there's a fucking suede Great. motorcycle jacket with tassels on the sleeves. Fire. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bailey, you would hate me. Stop. <laughs> you would hate it. I just don't know what to hat. do with, like, the fringe. It, it's giving, like, cowboys and Indians. <laughs> like, I just you gotta can't. Be you can't. It looks sick, but you can't, like, you got, oh, like, three that, wears out of that before it, People I are like, that shit again? on every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right at easy end. Oh my gosh! I'm like, here comes Perry with his fringe again. What down? Make room. <laughs> Swinging. Kicks Fucking the door Tina. open. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Oh my gosh! I still do it though. Saloon doors. <laughs> yeah. Look at the cut. You know. Look at the crop cut of the sweater. Oh my God. I don't know how to dress. So I'd be looking at something. Stop like, it. What? Don't, don't do this. <laughs> Stop it. Oh my God. Ooh, the hat with the mesh come with the mesh down. Yeah, y'all gotta look at this shit. It is with fucking the, incredible. It's fucking incredible. What is that piece in the back of that? Never mind. 
It's like uh, it's like for fishing or whatever. Like, yeah, like the little. Neck. Yeah, I thought it was a do. I thought it was a do rag. Yeah, it's, it's giving <laughs> the hat with a do rag. Yeah. <laughs> what else happened in fashion? Not really much that I saw. Uh, what about the Jimmy? Oh yeah. What about uh, what Nike's got going on? Oh boy. <laughs> Please yeah, talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let me pull it up again. I had to get it off my phone. It was so fucking heinous. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so the Nike Air Force One low unlocked by you. It's like the, <laughs> the models that you can design yourself. They've come up with like what looks like a like a gun holster tool belt type situation. Uh, and they call it. Wait, isn't it like a winterized? Sorry, I mean it's you weatherized leather. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, the, the slow has treads, like yeah, big treads. Yeah, so it, it, they call it a lace cover. And the uh, here, let's just get into the the copy. The here. specs, the crazy, <laughs> the insane copy that Nike allowed to uh, pass through. Meet the Adventure Ready Air Force One. <laughs> <laughs> Weatherized leather and durable design add a tactile utility feel to your creation. But it's not just for looks. <laughs> Oh my god. The removable lace cover includes a pocket to store money, keys, or any other essentials you might we, want to keep on hand, parentheses, or shall we say on foot. Literally <laughs> fuck you. <for laughs> we uh, <laughs> Yeah. Drugs. So, <laughs> yeah. So so to explain, it looks like a big ass cargo pocket over the Over front. just your laces. <laughs> but kind of hard. Kind of yeah, hopefully. Perry's gonna cop them. <laughs> it's definitely giving like orthopedic would, threes. It's looking like a velcro strapped old man shoe. There was a way for it to be like not seen as separate from like if your <laughs> pants could cover it. If we were still in like two thousand, like nineteen ninety nine, two thousand two era when everybody's wearing like big bottom jinkos and shit, <laughs> and I wouldn't have had to seen your crazy ass lace covers, I'd be like, yeah, that makes sense for real. But, like, bro, you can't be wearing skinny jeans getting the lace covers off. You uh, look fucking I'll wear, crazy. I'll you're going to reach lady. down and pull your... You're going to pull your yeah, posh. You're going to you pull straight your leg posh or, or whatever the Stra fuck straight leg, Straight leg cropped. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. White tee. Somebody stop Tight white him. tee. Chain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I love how you styled it already. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> yeah, like low-key looks the, uh, like... The ascot... <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! You know, you, you know the up. like the the simple tool belt that you can get that just like you can hang your hammer from it, yeah. and like put a like a like a belt pencil in it. Mm -hmm. It looks like you just put that on the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't get it. It looks strange. Cargo's coming back though. Cargo's and carpenters coming back for real. There's nothing wrong with that, but this shoe is not really good. <laughs> like I don't know. Yeah, I mean, cargos and carpenters are great. Pants. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? It kind of looks like if a shoe was like a chicken breast. In All the right. Pack, you, know, <laughs> you know, they got like the dry lock uh, paper or whatever, like the meat diaper that oh! they put on it. <laughs> the meat diaper. It texturally looks like a shoe diaper. I don't know. That's oh called utility. <laughs> Look, Perry's just going to make it make sense. He's like, I'm going to cop shit. For the 179? Yikes. See, look. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, they're one. They start at like 140, depending on. Or no, they start at 150, and then however crazy you make it. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about the red boots yet. Everybody else talked about it oh, already. Yeah. We had guests. Oh, yeah. The red, but I fuck with the red boots. You know what's funny? Because a lot of people don't really understand. I've been hearing a lot of people takes on it because like, they've been out for what, two weeks now? People been wearing yeah. them and shit, but like if you if you like anime, if you fuck with Astro Boy, it's def you would definitely wear them bitches for real. I but don't that's, know if that's not an excuse. necessarily true, bro. It's just it doesn't seem very practical. I see what they're doing with it, but it's just it's it's a lot. Even if you're like an anime <laughs> fan, one you probably don't even have your ducats together to even <laughs> cop them. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> 
I mean, anime is fire. Don't 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 get it to it. It's yeah. not that it's wrong, but it's like you're talking about. I mean, if you're talking about the regular average anime kid, they do not have the money to cop those. But also, like the people who are copying them. Coyle Ray is wearing that shit. She probably ain't <laughs> never even heard of Astro Boy, bro. <laughs> she probably ain't never seen that shit or took any time to watch that. But that's what I'm saying though. Like, if you, I, I feel like it's cool to wear them if you on that type time. Oh, yeah, no. and the oh, so only people like, are wearing them are not. On yeah, that type of that's like saying it's cool to wear like a gig because you like Dragon Ball Z. You know what I mean? That's not an excuse, right? You, you gonna know? wear the that's Goku? A cultural, thing? That's a cultural item, though. But you just gonna wear the Goku thing because you like Dragon Ball? I'll like Goku is just Goku. Like Goku's damn near the goat. Like yeah, I wear. I wear Vegeta Scouter. <laughs> anyway, what is a scouter? Yeah, the little thing that go on your eye. No, oh yeah, not you're, that. Right. you're not, not wearing that. that. Fuck <laughs> out. I had that bitch home. You're not doing that. Stop <laughs> lying. <laughs> Perry, really? Yeah. Right now, you I'll be, be trying to. I'll be trying to be on my. I'll be trying to be on my. Uh, or like, I'll be trying to be on my waterbender shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I got the too long. That's why I got the too long go some Avatar waterbender shit. You <laughs> feel me? They literally said that it wasn't giving Astro Boy. They were like, it was Boots from Dora the Explorer the whole time. Cause nah, they definitely giving Astro Boy. It's literally the exact same boot Astro Boy be wearing. I know that. Never mind. It was a joke. But okay. <laughs> oh, I thought you were It's scared. just a cartoon boot. And the thing in Dora the Explorer has red boots. So it's like, I don't know. I whatever. can't tell you what boots do. I mean... Boy. They need Jesus to make Christ. the Bart. They need to make the Bart Chuck. No, like, <laughs> but why? I did see the shoes. I don't like them at all. But like, I did see. Uh, I did see them styled with like baggy jeans. They look. Yeah, they look out of fire when they style, right? For real. But it's like, when are you wearing those? I mean, you wearing that? I mean, that's your artistic statement type shit. I mean, yeah. it's hype now, but like niggas are gonna still be. It's just like when niggas used to wear like Jeremy Scotts and shit. Yeah. Remember that? There was a time when niggas was wearing wings on their shoes. Yeah. Those are still a thing. Niggas still wear those? Yeah. I ain't seen nobody wear no Jeremy Scott to the video. What else? He had like the little tigers. Yeah, he had like the stuffed animals. Stuffed and shit. animal, tiger, Adidas, shit like that. Niggas was getting them off for real. Yeah, he was, uh, he had, a, he had a nice little run with Adidas. I'm not like a huge fan of those shoes, but he had a nice little run. He's always, still with Moschino now. It's crazy. Stupid clothes. Yeah. Back when niggas was wearing stupid clothes, Dean Ricky <laughs> pins and shit. I used to want one of them bitches. I used to want, uh, I remember I was like, I'm only wearing salvage denim. Oh, yeah. Back in the day, spending yeah. mad money on pants. I ain't even wear no more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Trying to fade them out. You know? Yeah, I was trying to do too much for you. Like, I don't wash them. <laughs> Not supposed to wash them. You got to put them in the freezer. My mom was like, get these J's out my freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back in them days when niggas was trying to put their jeans in the freezer. I guess it's supposed to, like, ventilate kill. them. Yeah, it's supposed to kill the germs and shit. Oh, yeah, but I think that's a myth. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't tell you because my mama was mad as hell. I put my jeans <laughs> in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> that's gotta look crazy to somebody who has no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yo, that's crazy. Niggas was doing that shit for real. I don't even be caring no more. I'll be wearing dickies, boy. Yeah, the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> you never go wrong. Oh shit! What else I got on my list? Um. Uh, oh, Selena Gomez. I fuck with Selena Gomez, man. She didn't surpass the uh, Kylie as the most followed woman in the world. What do and you I mean? fuck with that. Oh, like on the internet? Yeah, on the internet. Know. She got the most followers in the world now. And I <laughs> fuck with it because I'll be watching Cooking with Selena. That's my shit. <laughs> I did watch that over there. <laughs> it's fire yeah, for real. Cooking with Selena be fire for real. I got on the pandemic. That low key got me through for real. Yeah. I was like, I'm going to make that shit, yo. You ever seen that, Bailey? <laughs> no. She got an HBO <laughs> show where she like, uh, she uh bring out all the top chefs or whatever, and they cook a dish with her. She be in her crib cooking with her friends and shit. And I be Boring. watching it. Nah, that shit. See, I like shit like that. I like cooking shows. But that's also like whatever. She's like mad younger than us. Like who she even cares? I don't us. know. 
Who she cares? probably like a year younger than She's us. like a Disney Channel ass. I fuck with Selena, yo. I fuck with I never Selena, even yo. think about her. It's like thinking about Miley Cyrus. I don't know. Or like Hillary Duff. I don't think about these people. I fuck people. with Hillary Duff. What do they do? Who they cares bring anymore? Out, they, bring out the new, my... they bring out the new Lizzie McGuire. It's called something else, though. Come See, you on. can't start the episode <laughs> talking about you're on this grown man <laughs> shit, and now we depleted all it's the way the down grown show. So to Hulu. wearing the Vegeta thing and then watching Disney. Disney Channel uh, has beens. It's a uh, nah. cook. <laughs> Obviously, Selena is no has been. And, well, uh, what else is she doing? Like, oh, it's like movies. She's saying what, what's the, love, what's the last movie Selena, that she bro. was in? I can't tell you. That's oh, what I'm what saying because no one cares. What was the movie she was in? Oh, Spring Breakers. Yeah, Spring Breakers was funny as hell. That was <laughs> so long. That was <laughs> long they ago, but it was a while ass ago. Was just playing riff rap. Yeah, the whole movie that. If I was riff rap, I would have tried to sue for my likeness. He they did <laughs> try to sue, for, and they didn't give it to him. He was like, they were saying some shit. I said in there. Man, they bogus as I, hell. Didn't I just like share a riff raff uh, well, like, music video to the group chat recently? I don't know. I, I got, got a few of I got a few of them I can show you. <laughs> <laughs> the infamous freestyles about riff raff. Oh, yo, riff raff's freestyle. He used to be crazy. going crazy. I remember. <laughs> riff raff used to be going crazy for real. He's just like a Texas, like. The thing is, like, it's just that he's white, but he just be on some, like, Texas shit. Don't yeah. even hate. Like I, I yeah. listen to some of Riff Raff's rap, I'm like, they not much different than Paul Wall. Not really. Yeah. <laughs> Funnier content. This is more outlandish little, content, but yeah. it's, it's all there. He was on SOD Money Gang. <laughs> oh yeah, that's crazy. He has BT tattooed on his neck. That's that's loud. You are a black man <laughs> <laughs> or a white man, and you have black entertainment television tattooed on your neck for life. Goofy. Ain't it funny? Like back then, Riff Raff had like he had all them tattoos, and it was like crazy. It was like shock value. But now that ain't shit. I got more tattoos than that. <laughs> but you don't have stupid, idiotic tattoos. I uh, know, but it was just the fact that he had them. Uh, that's more about the way that he, like, dresses. And he had, like, the razor sharp diamond But, I mean, but that's like shit. Texas niggas be having that. Don't yeah. they, Nate? Yeah, true. It's a thing. <laughs> Texas niggas be having that, for real. Like, the lined up beard and shit. Yeah. I haven't listened to that man forever. Yeah, yo. How I get over it? Oh, Spring Breakers. I was actually, last time I watched it, I realized it's actually a terrible movie. <laughs> <laughs> when I first saw it, I was like, this is kind of cool. Because it's by, what's his name? Who made it? Dude Harmony that did. Grand. Yeah, dude that did like kids and shit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he made it and shit. I yeah. was like, this kinda, I was like, I kind of like it. Nah, I watched it back. This shit's giving as predatorial. Hell. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> <find that laughs> Why is that giving predatorial? The uh like the I don't know like how old were those girls in that movie I don't know it was just giving they was age. Uh, James Franco was like <laughs> like but they they put it like that that they, these girls were around these older men I just didn't like it whatever it was whack they were trying to get drunk and get fucked up and trying to get put on by dudes that were way older than that. like I just didn't like it no I see I can see how you don't wouldn't like it but that's what they be on. But it's just like the way that you said you didn't want to watch Euphoria because you don't want to see like teenagers <laughs> fucking and shit. Yeah, but they were supposed that. to be college though. They was college though. That, and that's when I was in college no. too. In oh, yeah, I was like Euphoria, they're definitely in high school. Yeah, Euphoria, yeah. That's why I don't that's why shit weird me out though. But like Spring Breakers, they was in college. I was in college. I was I trying to do the same thing. <laughs> what do I know, man? I'm just here. I saw I saw a video today of a, like a comedian talking about like if if you're a person like searching for porn and you and you search for like 18 year olds the implications of that is like <laughs> you're like what's the youngest possible naked person that I can that's, legally that's fuck yeah. crazy without being put on a list that's loud <laughs> and, that's and it's always a top category too I never that's not even my speed for real. <laughs> Yo, I mean, I mean we never, never hope not. No, but I'm just saying, like, <laughs> all even, of the top category shit now makes me want to never look at. Yeah, porn like again, even when I was real. a little, even when I was a kid, that one, even when I was 18, that wasn't what I was searching for. <laughs> Oh, you Sorry. guys are talking about porn. I was like, what do you mean top category? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, nigga, niggas be niggas be like that's always top category. Eighteen year old. No, I've like, never. I don't. Here we I go. Be the fapaholics like, over here. I'm going in thickness. Aholics. Fapaholics. <laughs> to me, what's really foul is like if you open up Pornhub these days, guaranteed the first five videos are like fucking step, bro. <laughs> Like, bro, yeah. y'all want to fuck your sister, and it's really nasty for real. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. y'all need to stop. <laughs> yeah. You know what's what funny, is bro? this becoming? You know what's funny? Hold on, I gotta get this off. But I gotta get this off. Bailey, this is something that women don't say my name out loud no, wanna... after or before during no, or after wanna, this conversation. I just want to say because, like, because like. Women often get this point can misconstrued for real. Misconstrued about, me. about <laughs> men for real. Like a nigga, a nigga dick have a man of his own for real. <laughs> <laughs> that is not connected to my man. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, we're really prisoners here. <laughs> oh God, for real. <laughs> we're being held hostage by this shit for real. Help me. Because like, cause look, because look, this shit. I can say. I can. I say. It's porno that my dick like that my brain don't like for real. Like I would never want to participate in a gang bang before. <laughs> what like my brain would never make me want to participate in here? that. Is this Howard Stern right now? <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now? Get your shit off, bro. I'll just be a real line. <laughs> it, it, it really have a man of its own for real. Howard Stern. <laughs> <laughs> Because so, I have nothing to say to this. So, uh, what's your favorite category? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole. Yo, it's all so close to the mic. Yeah, it's a whole How different many bang. Bang bangs. <laughs> it's, shit, it's shit that you will see on it. It's, it's porno you will watch. You be like, I would you never. Might, you might I finish wouldn't. with the video on the on the net, and then after be like, Yo, I'm really fucked up for. Real. Yeah, my, I would never. I would never want to participate in this. Like, if somebody was like, You wanna, you wanna, you wanna do this? No. <laughs> But <laughs> I watch you. He down there being like, "Do that shit, do that shit, do that shit." <laughs> I love how you personified it. No, nah, for real, you personified it's the really Johnson. Gotta, and, w- and women, really, because I be feeling like I be feeling like women to be like, "Uh, you, why would you fuck with that girl?" You know what I'm saying? They be like, "Uh," and you're like, "I ain't in control." I'm this not shit. in control. <laughs> <laughs> Like I'll be like, damn, Bailey, you. Like, it even times, it even times we in place. I'm be like, shit. You would be like, uh, look at this girl. I'll be like, I hit. And you'd be like, you hit. I'm like, my mind wouldn't hit. My brain, I understand, but like, <laughs> holy shit, man. I'm literally speechless. <laughs> <laughs> No, just keeping it real. It's <laughs> funny also that you call them porno. It was like, that's so <laughs> weird. <laughs> People literally be like, oh, porn. You're like pornos. Oh, like porno. it's the 70s or some shit. Like, I mean, we, when I was a high Yeah, I was like, I was going to say, it was high school. We just call them flicks. <laughs> <laughs> be like, G, I was at so and so crib. I, I, I pulled out the DVD player to put this on the thing. He had a flick in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh shit, flick is hilarious. Oh, he got a flick in there. <laughs> <laughs> or like, yeah, you the joke is your homie crib and like, and his he had a bootleg DVD that didn't have no cover on it or some shit. He was like, this a flick. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> well, shit on that note. <laughs> oh man, yo. Um shit, y'all got anything else? I ain't got shit else. Nah, man. Like, this, this is fun as fuck. Well y'all know, <laughs> on that note. <laughs> y'all already know. Um February twenty eighth, good high Serengeti at Sleep yeah. Village. Fuck yeah. Nice I'm gonna be in way that bitch to end for real. off uh Black History Month. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, oh man. yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah, go go support go support black artists. Well, have black artists. <laughs> Don't do it to him. Right? No, not him. Uh, I know. I'm talking about like the group. Oh yeah, true, 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 no. true, true, true. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, go support your homies at the end of the day. But yeah, support yeah. your local black homies too. You know. No, I'm saying bad black art. Listen to black music. Period. At least for these fuck days. Hundred <laughs> percent. Oh yeah, though. Fuck that shit. Let's get.